Comedian James Corden is known for collaborating with some of the world's most famous celebs for hilarious bits on his late-night talk show, The Late Late Show. Some of his most memorable celebrity-studded stints include acting out Tom Hanks' filmography with the beloved actor himself, as well as taking songstress Celine Dion for a carpool karaoke ride-along. The affable comedian seems to get along with just about everyone, but since egos are known to run a muck in showbiz, it only makes sense that Corden hasn't been too impressed with every single famous face he's met. Fans may remember the time the late-night host shockingly revealed the rudest celebrities ever encountered in a funny yet disgusting round of a show's ever popular Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts segment with guest Khloe Kardashian back in January 2017. For those who don't know, the premise of Corden's game is simple enough. Both the English comic and his celeb guests ask extremely personal and awkward questions. If they choose not to answer a question, the consequences involve ingesting a rather unusual snack. Kardashian's appearance marked one of her wildest interviews, during which the reality star opted to eat an actual fish eye rather than answer the question, do you think OJ did it. No, you're not going to do it. <laughs> Eating a fish eye was certainly a bold move, but Corden's decision to answer a certain burning question may have been even more daring. With a glass of bird saliva sitting in front of him, Corden started stammering when Kardashian asked him to name a celebrity who had been rude to him at a party. There was someone. <laughs> but I don't, I, don't, I don't know if we're going to try and book him on the show. However, Kardashian refused to let Corden get away without revealing the identity of the mystery man, much to the audience's delight. Why would you want to book him if he's rude? Screw him and tell us the name. Reluctant as he may have been, the late night host was way more willing to spill the tea than down a glass of bird saliva. I'm P Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> Gordon made sure to clarify that while he doesn't necessarily think the Irish actor is a rude man in general, he personally had a less than friendly run-in with Brosnan at a U2 concert. The late night host told Kardashian that when Brosnan and his friends left halfway through the concert and didn't return for an extended period of time, Corden and his wife thought it would be okay to move into the area where 007 and his pals had been. However, they apparently thought wrong. This arm went on here and just pushed me out the way. <laughs> And I was lo looking at him like that, and he didn't even glance at me. He just moved back into his area and looked like that. No stranger to controversy herself, the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star tried to give Brosnan a little bit of credit. But Corden just wasn't having it. Maybe he was drunk. Maybe he's just a bit rude. Yeah. <laughs> While he fearlessly alleged one of the most beloved actors of an entire generation as a bit of a bad side, the comedian curiously refused to drop another big name when Kardashian later asked who'd been the worst singer on Carpool Karaoke. I can't. I just think it's so unfair to answer that. Oh. I mean, I could tell you who it is. Ultimately, Corden opted to chow down on chicken feet instead of throwing another celeb under the bus, leaving fans to wonder who the not-so-pitch-perfect person really is. Interestingly enough, the late-night host's apparent tiff with Brosnan isn't the only celebrity beef Corden's experienced throughout his career. Fans may recall the time he shared a tense moment with Sir Patrick Stewart while on stage at the Glamour Awards in 2010. While presenting an award, the legendary actor scolded Corden's posture and weight, saying in part, "'From where I was sitting, I could see your belly.'" In response, Corden said, You can see my belly, I can see you dying right now. Stewart expressed regret for trading insults with a comedian and even appeared as a guest in the Late Late Show years later, proving that his awkward televised clash with Corden was thankfully water under the bridge. As for Corden and Brosnan, at this point, a reconciliation between the two seems unlikely. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.